All right, let's talk Assassin's Creed. Let's talk Assassin's Creed. Hexa. And I'm not going to say Hexa, Hexi, Hexa. Hexa sounds the most natural to me. So it's going to be Hexa. Sorry for that. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. But yeah, like there was an article by Tom Henderson recently um, in which we finally got some new and extra details on the game, which look really nice. I am kind of looking forward to this game. I want to see a little bit more of it, but I like that the, the, the series is going into a bit of um, a darker vibe, uh, more grittier, gloomier, darker, you know, era vibe with the game. And it looks, um, from what I've read so far, fairly interesting, if I might say. I think this is, looks, uh, it, it, I think this is, apart from maybe some some other uh entrances into the assassin's creed franchise this might be the furthest step away from the actual franchise that they've actually taken like from the actual formula which might not be that bad like we have to wait and see i know there's always a lot of controversy right when we went from what was it syndicate to origins which was like a big leap and changed the game and how it was played and everything around it into odyssey which was also um following the same fancy rpg style as origins but you know uh, way bigger way bigger with two protagonists just like in um uh, syndicate was there another one or two no that's just syndicate right so yeah that again and i played as alexius because i thought he was the main protagonist until like halfway through the game i found out it was actually supposed to be cassandra but I continued because I liked it. He was a bit of a, well, a, a, a dumber character, maybe, but it was fun to play as him. And then we get to Valhalla, which was um, following the same style, same lead. But I think for me, and uh, that's what I was saying, with it feels uh, like um, further away from the formula as Valhalla was, I think, a fun, good game, but it did not really feel like an Assassin's Creed game to me. I, I felt like there was a bit missing from the Assassin's Creed side of the story. And um, I don't know if this game is going to follow that same, because if we look at the article, we can see some um, stuff that I've already seen people on, on Twitter talk about and dislike, which is kind of, I kind of understand, but also, yeah, they're going to try new things. That's what I, I truly think with what they're doing with the Infinity platform is, um, we just got Mirage, which is sort of like an older style game. We're going to get Assassin's Creed code named Red, which is going to be the open world style fantasy game. Um, just like Valhalla and Odyssey and Origins. And then we get code named Hexa, which is um, supposed to be a more linear experience compared to its predecessors with some elements of open world exploration. I'm reading that for the article right now. But it kind of seems like it it fits in between the older narrative and the new stuff that we are getting with with uh, Assassin's Creed uh, code name Red. So yeah, I'm kind of curious about how how is this any different in that regard. But I think the other things that we're probably going to go through also make it a really different experience than the previous Assassin's Creed games. So um, let's just take a look at the article, right? Um, well, this is all. You know, what we already talked about, alluded to, uh, that the game will be different from past entries and developed by Ubisoft Montreal. I think this is like the biggest Ubisoft studio, I'm not sure, but they touch a lot of games. So um, I think almost every Assassin's Creed game comes through there as well, which is really cool. So, you, you know, there's a big team behind this game. And yeah, so like it says from the game's official tease, we know that it will lean heavily into witchcraft with the game rumored to be set in central europe during the 16th century the holy roman empire which i think is pretty cool i think that's a cool era to do things in it's nice to see them um central europe probably germany and shit like that so uh, them going over there which looks really cool yeah so what they say what inside the game kind of says is they understand that the game is still in relatively early stage of development um, and it's expected to be released in 2026, which is um, not that far out, though. It's going to be uh, Assassin's Creed Codename Red, and then uh, Hexa, 
all on the infinity platform which is going to be the main source of income right guys it's a lovely new platform for assassin's creed and everything assassin's creed but it's basically how they want to monetize everything in one you know one hub world space that they control very easily um through like a couple of steps right so oh what i just said like over here it says hex is understood to be a more linear experience compared to its predecessors with some elements of open world exploration somewhat akin to the uh earlier assassin's creed games which okay uh earlier could be <laughs> could be like what we got with brotherhood mirage or origins or valhalla so um i think it's going to be somewhat in between those games and then we get to the protagonist and it's going to be a single female protagonist so in in red you get two protagonists again which also is really cool but you get like one single female protagonist um which is named currently named also we're not gonna make a stupid joke about you know frozen it's fucked it but see um it's said that she has some supernatural abilities which i've seen people talk about it was like ah nah man but like this is all that we know from the game right now um this is this is if it's like it if it it is Assassin's Creed, so it's going to be tied into isu technology for civilization stuff um maybe like like as we've seen with the uh the apple eden and 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 and, and, and other artifacts like that yeah i'm kind of waiting to see if it's going to be actually supernatural abilities as well with like witchcraft and 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 spells and 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 potions and all that sort of stuff um we don't know yet we like and that's what i said we don't know how far this is going to stray away from or what like ubisoft has done previously with assassin's creed right but then having a single female protagonist fits with uh, the time the story of being uh the, the the witch trials and everything going around at that time um that fits really well so that looks really good and then it says while details on all of her abilities are unclear footage sent into insider gaming under the condition that it not goes public shows off one of these abilities in the footage Elsa is seemingly being hunted by the 16th century German soldiers. And then you get like a nice image. I'll probably prop that up on screen. Um, and uses a spell to possess a nearby cat. This kind of seems like it could happen through artifacts. Also, um, and I think I've seen the most negative stuff about this because like this is not Assassin's Creed, but if we are going to be real you kind of possess a ego in every game that does like stuff uh, it says the the player that control then controls the cat and uses it to distract the soldier by knocking over a glass bottle which, which smashes on the ground and diverts the soldier's attention this kind of as i can remember happens in every game right you, you can use your ego to distract and 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 look for things through walls and everything and be there also as sort of supernatural possessed animal already so i don't i don't have any problems with this the fun thing that i had with this was it kind of reminded me of <laughs> um leaked footage from years ago about a game where i thought it was uh, back then also created by ubisoft montreal but it was thq montreal so it is montreal but not the same studio uh, but it was amsterdam 1666 yeah i might prop that up on screen if i can find it like some some decent footage of it but it also is uh, uh let's call him the protagonist you see him going through the city of amsterdam on like a raft or a boat and um through the canals and he possesses a, a black cat as well i think a rat and i think something else i'm not sure though but um yeah it just reminded me of that and i was like did they take that inspiration from the, the printing like that game they were working on because that was like a game they were working on or uh, xbox 360 and playstation 3 if i remember correctly but it was not ubisoft it was thq so i still could have taken you know inspiration so yeah i don't i don't like until i see it i'm not going to be like oh this this is this is terrible not assassin's creed or whatsoever i kind of want to see it before you know make like a clear judgment on it um i am gonna say it kind of sounds like fun though something different than an eagle every time or like a bird uh i don't mind that at all you know and then what i like about this is it says the gameplay provided to insider gaming 
depicts a dark and gloomy setting in a cobbled streets of this city and i like that <laughs> i like it you know because having a grittier darker gloomier setting i think is really fun and as far as like we haven't had that really um we had something like it in a dlc and we'll talk about it in a bit like a couple seconds but um i think that's the closest and i've never played it because it was dlc and i've never played that dlc i've only seen it um uh, never really i never bought it never played it but um it seems like they're also taking something else from that uh dlc that id is that it says that so it's outlined to have a fear system in the game which does really fit if you ask me because in this era the witchcraft and all that stuff it's gonna be really different than what we've seen before so instead of um oh i don't know like what's the last game like do they all have it i haven't played it in a while but like the notoriety system that's usually in the game uh if you do like uh, crime and stuff like that and like uh, the guards come after you this is a nice uh a nice change of that and i think this could be really implemented really well with you know if you look at um witches and the fear that there was for witches and the, the church hyping up the fear <laughs> against witches which was really um really a big deal back then so i think a fear system is really cool to have in that game instead of a notoriety system um and they 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 they, they took that from their inspiration of the jack the ripper dlc for assassin's creed syndicate which was um i've never played it but it looked really cool um they posted some footage for that as well so that's probably up on screen right now um but i think they can do a lot with this right um like having the fear of or like instilling fear by using magic or um uh, maybe even possessing stuff like outside of a cat maybe some other stuff as well which could be really cool um and that tying into like how fearful people look at you or how like people react to you in the game that is kind of um really interesting to see where they want to go with that and then the article kind of ends with um and i read over this in the beginning but uh, mark alexis Cote, i think it pronounced like that now from from uh, ubisoft um described the title as a different type of game which i i truly think it's going to be I, I truly think this is going to be a really different type of assassin's creed game and i i i do think that they're gonna do this more and more with assassin's creed the entire franchise because the thing that i kind of understand with people saying why even call this assassin's creed if it's it's so far removed from what the original assassin's creed was i get it but it, it, like let's be honest though it makes money the name makes money the brand is there the brand makes money um so having games fit into that narrative somehow with that name on there that just makes Ubisoft money and they need that money because it's a big ass company and it's not all doing that well. If you look at um, uh, the b -b 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 Skull and Bones, which is terrible, right? I've, I've already seen pictures of it being on sale. Um, physical, I don't know about like uh, digital, but physical being on sale already. So that kind of means that stores don't really sell the game. They want to get rid of it. That's kind of, it, it's really soon already. And I, I think that um, um, Prince of Persia, uh, I always remember, the, I've, I've, I cannot remember the name for that game though, like the the title. Um, that, was a, that was a very good game though, but I think it didn't sell as well. So them working on this Infinity platform for quite some time to just start really, well, they're already monetizing <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Let's, let's not beat around the bush with that, but to really start monetizing and doubling down on everything assassin's creed because this is going to be a different game um assassin's creed red codename red is going to be the same as what we got with like valhalla and and odyssey and stuff but i do think like that I, I think they're also working on the on a multiplayer game which is also not going to be for everybody but they're they're, they're probably going to start and experiment way more to get their fingers in way more you know pots and pans and everywhere that really a saying nah i just made it up sorry but like just to get that into everybody's hand like oh assassin's creed hex is not for you then the assassin's creed code name red is probably for you oh uh, you want to have relief some sort of the 
old school multiplayer it was really fun i played that a lot though but you want that we got that as well might even be free to play but then like battle pass and everything in there microtransactions let's go and then the next game after that might be another um you know installment which doesn't really fit into the bigger narrative for assassin's creed because they've already said that codename red and codename hex are going to be um you know supported for a fairly long time so uh like coexisting and and supported for a fairly long time which is them saying we need to make this platform <laughs> work because we need that money because probably a lot of other stuff is failing right let's 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 just be real it's not being negative but it, it's being real though uh and i think their 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 worst failure has been skull and bones like that that game was doomed to fail from the beginning and it failed though it failed bad so yeah one thing that i kind of agree with <laughs> um is what he also said is not everything has to be in a 150 hour rpg right that's what he says and i agree with it probably not for the same reasons he's probably saying that because they're they're gonna you know release games that are shorter than like the really big games that they want to cash in on that but i do agree that not everything has to be an intensely insanely incredibly big game to be worth the money right there are some games that definitely are worth that money and and uh, the attention as well if i look at Baldur's gate 3 i have way over 100 hours into that game and i still love it it's in it's 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 an insanely good game but like i'm also from the era where you had like 10 to 20 hour um you know games for full price which were amazing which were like if you if you if you done with them if you played through them you were like oh damn it was so good i wish i had more you know it was so good and i'm some like i'm sometimes i'm still thinking about those games reminiscing about games like that because they were really good but they like they were not 100 plus hour games though <laughs> not at all not at all so yeah i am i'm really looking forward to this because uh, in a way it's really different and i am kind of curious as to what this is going to mean and that's like why i'm really looking forward to this as a fan of assassin's creed what does this mean for the franchise because it's going to be that different and they admit that themselves this is going to be a different type of game so i'm kind of uh kind of excited for that not gonna lie <laughs> but I, I like we need more this is just a tad bit and this is this is a drop in the ocean of assassin's creed and we need way more information uh about this game and it will come in 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 or well, probably like after codename red has dropped and everything so yeah i am really curious leave a comment in the comment section with what you think about this do you think this is going to get even worse for assassin's creed with hexa do you think this is going to be a fresh take on assassin's creed like let's have that conversation i'm i'm really curious what, what you guys think though as always leave a like on the video if you like the video if you dislike it also pop that little button right there subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one Bye bye